Well, I think it's, um, I think it depends upon the medium. So for example, um, I would write acronyms through a, t through a tweet. I wouldn't have an issue with that, um, especially if I am trying to shorten it so I can get it to be reshared and get you know more information, people to share that information. So it's actually learning how to utilize a medium where you're constrained by 140 characters. So for like texting and tweeting, it does sometimes make sense to use acronyms. Um, whereas when I have unlimited space on a blog, is that the place that I would actually do that? And I think um, it, it's it's totally medium dependent, but what I try to do um, as an educator is try to always use appropriate language um, in the sense that you know I'm writing complete sentences, I'm doing that when I have the opportunity through Twitter. So like I wouldn't uh, you know leave out capitals and periods unless there was a necessity to do that to get the message across in 140 characters um, because I always want people to look at it and to see like I'm still modeling education and if they were to ask me well why did you you know write PLS instead of writing please I could I could articulate well in this case I was limited by the characters and I couldn't finish the whole thing and I think that's what we have to understand especially with our kids um, how they use it because they tend to use uh, you know texting and tweeting like that's they text more than they use you know phone on a phone and and we have to understand that and be able to communicate with them and have a credibility like, yeah, this makes sense here, but you know, is this a great way to interact in this space? Because it's like we're asking them to do essays and they see that as school stuff, but then they do their real stuff. And I think that if they're using this as their main mode of communication, we should be able to help them and guide them on how to use it properly. And they can teach us a lot as well.